you'll have to bear with me. This is my effort to uh, bridge the gap from preseason to regular season here. We're watching just a, a classic game uh, from 2011. The Ravens and Flacco come back and win. They're down by uh, four points here. Um, on their own eight-yard line. And this is a game, this is one of those games where you definitely remember it. You remember where you were and who it was you were watching the game with. Uh, check out McKinney here. He's working uh, against Harrison. Harrison's going to work inside. Gets a good piece of Harrison there. And then he's attentive enough to pick up this stunt. Joe gets flushed here. See him pull the ball down there. See this uh, uh, edge guy getting, getting a swipe at the ball. These games were just nail biters, all of them. And they were violent, violent football games. The, the rivalry was really intense. And Joe does a good job getting uh, rid of the football. Um, second and 10, still on the eight yard line. I think it's about two minutes and 15 seconds to go. Um, we're going to see Joe hit Anquan Bolden. This is Anquan here. Runs a slant, sort of a deep seam slant route here. That's a nice throw. Let's see if it's better from a different, different angle here. Just a beautiful ball. Look at Joe. Look at Joe getting that ball right where he needs to, right to, to Anquan on the uh, slant. And it was at that moment uh, we were out of the shadow of the, the, the end zone, and you had a, at least a, you could breathe a sigh of relief. Um, I felt good about that. I still didn't, I still had my doubts there about any kind of comeback, I remember as I was watching it. And, you know, the, the Steelers have really broken the Ravens' hearts a lot in these games, several times. Uh, postseason games, all these games seemingly had great import, didn't matter when they played them. And as I said, these teams didn't like each other, and the fans of the teams didn't like each other. This was a great, great rivalry for about a decade. Here we see Joe, uh, uh, first and 10 from the 22. Pockets collapsing on him a little bit. Watch how he, look at this throw. He, this guy he hits, and I know we're, it looks like we're watching it on an old black and white set or something is um, Torrey Smith's best friend and roommate from the University of Maryland, Laquan Williams, on this comeback here. Ball's right there waiting for him. Joe's got a, a, um, an opportunity to hit the underneath here, but he doesn't. It's a great throw. I wonder if the other angle's a little bit better. Joe's just got guys around his feet. He was fearless in those days. Look at this throw. Look at this throw. Just beautiful comeback. And I like how he's spreading the ball around here. This, is, this guy played uh, three years, mostly special teams. This was his rookie year with the Ravens. And um, he didn't do much. But Joe, Joe had confidence to hit him there. Um, first and 10 at the 42. He's looking at Ray Rice there out of the backfield. Um, let's watch what happens. Number 50 whose name escapes me, is going to influence this throw. Who's 50? And look at that. Great, great uh, play on his part. Foot, that's it. Larry Foot. That definitely influences the throw. And you can see Joe just misses Ray Rice. The ball goes incomplete. Um, just the, the players in this rivalry were just something. Ed Reed, Polamalo, Ray Lewis, Heinz Ward. Um, yeah. It is second and 10. Joe finds Bolden. Now, Bolden was a big weapon on this drive. Bolden's a little bit short here. Just a nice throw. And uh, he goes down about a yard short of the first down. Um, it's third and one. Uh, this is a, 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 a frightening play. It's almost a pick. And here's the, I think this is Larry Foote again. Well, watch what happens off the snap. It's a low snap from Burke. See that snap down at Joe's knee? Joe's head is already up at this, uh, what is a, a cross or a slant he's looking at here. He's trying to hit Laquan Williams again. Interesting, the, the ball's down there, and Joe's probably got one eye on it, but he's looking away from it too. Now, foot is just following the eyes of the quarterback. There's no question. And this is a scary moment. 
right there. This is going to be a pick if Joe doesn't have so much heat on it. Let, let me tell you, man, Joe is whipping that ball. See if we can get a sense of it full speed. Not so much, but um, yeah, he was going for Anqu or excuse me, not Anquan, Laquan Williams again. And he uh, stared that down. That was not good. But yes, yeah, so much heat on that ball, he gets away with it. But it's fourth down, and uh, he's going to look at Anquan here. A lot of this drive, he's looking at Anquan. Um, here's Anquan right here. Notice they've got him in off coverage, and uh, on fourth down, I think that's interesting because he could have hooked up right there and converted, but he doesn't. He runs another slant, and once Bolton got inside uh, position, that's all she wrote, just super strong hands. Yeah, I mean, you if you remember this game, you were sitting on the edge of your seat right here. We hadn't seen, like I said, we'd seen the Ravens come up short so many times or get burned in the end by Roethlisberger. Um, Here's the play in a fast motion. So that was a conversion. And uh, next play, I like uh, another thing I like about this drive is that Joe is spreading the ball around here. Here he's going to try to hit Ed Dixon. Uh, a lot of pressure coming. Ed Dixon, the tight end. Here's Ray Rice picking up 93. Don't know who 93 is. And this is a completion, not for much, two yards, but the, st the clock stops, and we're well under a minute here. I think it's 42 seconds to go. Um, yeah, this is a nail-biting time. All right, it's Torrey Smith at the bottom of your screen here. He's going to run a double move and get by like Taylor. Right there, see it? Right around the 31. Not enough, I mean, not a lot, but a few strides behind him, and Joe's got the ball out. And this was just heartbreaking. Drops it right into his arms, and Torrey Smith drops it. Watch uh, uh, Ike Taylor. I don't think he could get away with this. That's called taunting nowadays. Uh, watch Joe. This is just a beautiful, beautiful drive. Gutty drive. Watch him step up here. It put, puts me in the mind of uh, Joe, that 70-yard bomb in Denver. Just the way he had to step up, kind of let it go at an awkward ankle. Just beautiful ball here. Whew. Uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a sad moment. Again, watch Ike and his little taunting. He just got beat. I guess he felt the need to talk there. Um, that's all right, Ike. Um... Third and eight. Another great throw here, I believe, by Joe. All the way across to the opposite sideline. Oh, my goodness. Look at that throw to Bolden. That's what Bolden running there. It's an out to the sideline. Joe hits him right there. Right there. That's a nice play. Look at it from this angle. Joe's just got tremendous arm strength. And you get it's on full display in this drive. Uh, first and 10, 28 seconds, and the Ravens are on, golly, I don't know, 26-yard line. He's going to take a shot here. One thing you want to notice, is, this is David Reed, and, and Taylor does a uh, is in coverage, I believe, here. He does a nice job of kind of just blocking him off. Uh, I think it's, you want to start looking at what's going on with this safety. He's he's coming up to cover uh, Anquan here, and so Joe makes a good read. you got to take a shot there. Um, check out the next play. Second and 10, 23 seconds left. Ravens need a touchdown. Um, here he tries for Bolden again on this cross or this post. And he hits him right in the hand, and he drops it. But what I want you to notice about that, that is that watch the safety. I believe that's Clark, Ryan Clark. He's looking there the whole way. You can see him walking that way already. Joe maybe 
yeah, this footage is not very, it's kind of grainy. But that play bears influence on the next one. Uh, incomplete. Jo uh, the ball's dropped. There's 14 seconds left. This is a game that changed a ton for the Ravens. It really did. And for Joe Flacco. Watch the safety. He's got to be thinking Bolden. This is the third time in a row Bolden's entered that scene. He sees it, but it's just a hair late. See the safety turn? Joe's got to put it all on the money. And in fact, that's what happens. Torrey would always catch the ball like he was catching a loaf of bread. Good ball, Joe. Look at that. Oof. And uh, that's redemption. Everybody loves redemption, man. It's the great story, the great human story. There's Torrey getting a chance in the same game to make up for his drop. And that was it. That's all she wrote.